Hey, so I had a request uh, asking, how do we take a uh, model from Substance Painter and bring it into Maya using the 3D uh, Substance Painter plugin in Maya to set up all the textures? For this example, I'm going to use this treasure chest that I created on the channel, uh, both modeling and texturing. You can find those videos to see how this was created. But once it's done, how do we take this and uh, quickly import it or set it up in Maya in kind of a similar way, you know, with maybe similar, um, you know, the, the effects and all the maps? How do we do it? So to do this, what I'm going to do is I'm going I'm to go to File. I'm going to go to Export Textures. And in the Export Textures, I'm going to choose the location. And then I'm going to choose the... I'm going to leave it on PBR Metallic Roughness. Uh, by default, that's uh, fine. And this is going to give me, if we want to see which maps it's going to give me, uh, you can see that here. It's going to give me a base color, an emissive, a height, metallic, normal, and roughness. And you can see that uh, here. So I'm going to leave all these uh, as is. And uh, again, I'm going to leave it on that. If you wanted to export out additional maps, for example, maybe you want to, you know, export out like a AO map. Uh, again, by default, this one doesn't include the AO, but maybe let's uh, take a look at that as well, actually, and see um, if we can set that up or export that out as well. Um, I'm for the petting. I'm gonna uh, let's see. I'm gonna choose this. Mm, let's go with just this background color. I think that's fine. I'm gonna leave it at uh, 2K. And yeah, so let's just go ahead and export this out and let me make sure that I like this location. I do, that's fine. I'm gonna go ahead and say export. I can also preview and see what which maps have been exported. So let's go ahead and take a look. This is what they look like. And let's say I wanna add an AO map to this as well. So ambient occlusion, how do we do that? Well, I can go to settings and on the, uh, under the uh, output template, let's choose uh, a different one. Let's choose something like, I'm gonna select this uh, mesh maps. Now, when I select mesh maps, what that's gonna give me, is gonna give me uh, a few other options, including uh, ambient occlusion. You can see that up here. So um, how do I know which one is ambient occlusion? Well, if I come back here, I can see that this one en ends in ION. So just to double check, I'm gonna deselect everybody else, because again, I just want the ambient occlusion. And if I go back into list, I can see that, oh, okay, ambient occlusion is the only one that's gonna be exported. So let's go ahead and export this out. And again, it's gonna give me ambient occlusion, base color, height, metallic, normal, and roughness. So I'm just gonna go with this. And the uh, next step after you export out your maps is going to be uh, jumping into uh, Maya, obviously, right? So let's go ahead and do that. All right, here I am in Maya, and this is my low poly uh, treasure chest game asset. The first thing I want to do is definitely set up the Arnold lighting so I can see all those substance textures. So I'm going to go to Arnold and I'm going to add a light and let's go ahead and drop a sky dome light. And let's pick an image for the HDRI for, uh, for the reflections to look nice. So I'm going to say file. And I'm going to simply select an image that I like. I think this one here works. I'm going to say open. All right, very nice. I'm going to turn my lights on. And next I'm going to go to uh, show. And I would like to turn the preview of the lights off just so I'm not looking at them. I just want to look at my model. I can also turn off my wireframe. I don't really need this. And the next thing to do, let's go ahead and plug the maps in. So. Um, one thing you want to make sure is that you have the Substance plugin activated. If you don't see this uh, activated, right, if you don't actually have the uh, Substance tab right here, this is what you're going to need. Um, you can go to Windows, Settings, Plugin Manager, and type in Substance. And let's just make sure that everything is loaded. So make sure you apply to all for the bundle and everything else right so you have this uh, checked and then say apply and once you do you should you should see the substance tab show up and in order to apply all the materials uh, what you need to do is you need to click on this button here 
which is called apply workflow to maps. And this little uh, box will show up. Next, I'm gonna select, select multiple maps. Then I'm gonna navigate over to where I exported all of my maps uh, from Substance Painter. I'm gonna simply select all of them, holding down the control key. I can just uh, select the ones that I want. Again, roughness, normal, metallic height, base color, and ambient occlusion. And I'm gonna say select. Uh, as soon as I say select, these are automatically uh, populated into um, this window. And I don't have a missive, right? There's no glowing of any kind. If you have a missive, that's gonna be uh, populated in here as well. I'm just gonna say apply. Okay, so once you're done, uh, let's go ahead and so select your mesh and then go to uh, right click and just say assign existing and make sure you choose the one that Maya just created for you, right? In my case, it's AI standard surface. I'm gonna select that and then I'm gonna turn on my textures. And uh, this is what it currently looks like. Of course, uh, this is gonna change dramatically based on the lighting that you choose. And I currently only have one light in here, so let me add a couple more. Let's go ahead and drop another uh, area light. And I, uh, now I kind of need to see them, so I'm gonna go ahead and select it. And let's go ahead and scale this up. Let's maybe position it a little bit better. So it actually is pointing to our, uh, in my case, the treasure chest, right? So I'm gonna do that. Um, I'm going to multiply this by a lot. So I'm gonna go, uh, let's see, I'll do by 9 million. And again, that's gonna, uh, the reason for that is because my scale is a little off. So you just have to figure out what makes sense. If you wanna see uh, how this light affects the model without the sky dome, um, make sure you go to your light manager and in here you have uh, ability to turn off the sky dome. So you can just turn it off and then you can see how this light is affecting the model by itself, right? So if I increase the exposure, I can see how that's looking. Um, I can also, for example, duplicate this. And let me just drag one on the back. Let's add a little uh, rim light. So we'll do something like this. Very nice, so there's the rim light. And now I can, of course, turn my sky dome back on. And if I wanted to not look at them, I can uh, turn them off. And the cool thing is I can turn them off, but in here with the light manager, I still uh, am able to control the light and play uh, with different settings, right? So maybe, you know, I think it's a little too much or too little. It's uh, definitely up to you to make that call, but that is the process of taking uh, all of your textures from Substance Painter and quickly applying them in Maya and then of course uh, just kind of dialing them in to reflect uh, what you want the final result to look like. Alright, so thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next video.